Visual arts has many different forms. Some of the key forms we are looking at are drawing, painting, printing and sculpture. Drawing is a key form for art and is considered fundamental to all aspects of a student's learning experience in visual arts. Drawing gives the students, the artist, the opportunity to develop self-expression and imagination. Drawings have many elements. There's lines, colour, value and shape. The lines that we were looking at were short lines, dotted lines, heavy lines, thick lines. They help express the flow and the feeling. They outline shapes, creating depth. Colour can evoke strong emotions and moods. Qualities such as colour can be explored. The type of colour we're looking at in the work is a combination of textures and water-coloured paints. Using different types of paint can create different effects. Painting can be combined with other forms such as drawing and printmaking. Here are a few examples. A variety of techniques can be explored when using paint. For drawing, I'm looking at Paul Keel. Paul is recognised as a Swiss and German artist who, who is best known for his large body of work, influenced by Cubism. Keel links Cubism to children's art because he believes he believed it returned art to the basic fundamentals. Children's art, by its direct and simple interpretations, and cubism by its timeless geometry. Next, we will look at painting. Bronwyn Bancroft is an Aboriginal woman from Western Bundjalung, New South Wales, which is near Grafton. Bronwyn is considered an urban indigenous artist. As a young girl, she was determined to be an artist. Bronwyn believed that art was a gift which she had to share. Being surrounded by talented people gave her the opportunities to learn constantly. Next, we're looking at printmaking. Printmaking can be used for various purposes. They could be for limited edition prints, posters, advertisements or even decorating. There are many tools that are used in printmaking. When printmaking, you need to think about the composition of your design. When combining different forms, such as drawing, painting and printmaking together, it can create some interesting pieces of artwork. Printmaking is generally done with ink, but you can use paint. The same as painting. Printing can also be combined with other forms. For example, drawing and collage. Next we are looking at Sally Morgan for printing. Sally Morgan is an Aboriginal artist from Western Australia. Having grown up with her mother and grandmother, she didn't learn or know much about her Aboriginal family. She discovered she was Aboriginal at the age of 15. She loved drawing and painting. 
Her paintings and prints have links to her family, country and spiritual con connection. Sally has created numerous beautiful prints using curvaceous, bright and vibrant colours. One in particular is called Every Part of Australia is Aboriginal Land which was the cover of her book titled My Place. Next, Sculpture. Allowing children to play and explore with different materials teaches them about form, size, weight, texture, mass and shape. Sculpture is all around us. Sculpture is three-dimensional. When creating sculptures, there are endless possibilities with using recycl recyclable materials or everyday items from the house or around our environment. As you can see by the pictures, these everyday items have been turned into creatures, interesting creatures. The artist for sculpture is Cornelia Parker. Camellia Parker works in a vast range of mediums from sculpture, installations, paperwork to photographs composed out of manipulated found objects and images. I was captivated by one of her best known works, Cold Dark Matter, An Exploded View, 1991. She had the British Army blow up a garden shed, then created fragmented pieces suspended and dynamically lit from within to form a dynamic sculpture. The video attached is a sample of all the classes work. Please enjoy. Thank you.